Shalom. I am Rabbi Shaul Praver. You're watching Rabbi Rock. Today we have the distinguished pleasure of having an international rabbi, Rabbi Joseph Ancrantz, who was the rabbi for 45 years in Congregation Aguda Shalom in Stamford, Connecticut. And he is the co-founder along with the president of the Sacred Heart University, Dr. Sinara, of the Center for Christian and Jewish Understanding of Sacred Heart University, a very important organization. He has been with the Pope. He has advocated for our dialogue. He received uh, this award of recognition from uh, Pope John Paul II. If our cameras will come in, that's it. Okay. This was given to him by the Pope, as well as another award um, for from a uh, cardinal. cardinal from Argentina, a very high uh, distinction and awards for his efforts in bringing the faith communities of the Christian and the Jew closer to one another to a uh, very, very uh, great understanding, a greater understanding than it really has ever been in the history, I would say, of the world. Um, and uh, with no further ado, uh, I welcome Rabbi Joseph Ancrantz. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for inviting me. Now, um, you began as a, a young rabbi of 22 in the Gouda Shalom, and, uh, but it was kind of by an accident. Tell us the story how you got well, there. Well, it was one day I got a tap on the shoulder from the, the man who was in charge of placing rabbis in communities. and. Uh, he said to me, someone isn't feeling well this weekend. Do, he was due in Stanford. Would you fill in for him? It just, uh, it isn't that far. Stanford, Connecticut, I, didn't, I had no idea where that was. In those days, one didn't do anything by himself. He called his father. And of course, I said, just let me talk to my father. Uh, and I called my father. I said, Dad, they're asking me to go spend a weekend in Stanford, Connecticut. My father said, my reaction, Connecticut much too far away. Uh, <laughs> you you got to be in New York. So I went back and I said, my dad said that I shouldn't go. Connecticut's too far away. He said, call your dad back and tell him in a short while you're going to get smicha. And after you're ordained, you're going to come to me looking for a placement. And I will remind you that when I asked you to go someplace for a weekend, you said, no. <laughs> So the answer to you will be no. I called <laughs> my dad back and explained that, and my dad understood that completely. And so I spent that weekend, the first weekend, December the 3rd, uh, Friday, December the 3rd, uh, 1948, in Stanford. And um, it, it played into my hands because I wasn't looking for a job. So I wasn't yeah. trying, I wasn't nervous like about it. Task. I'd never yeah. see these yeah. people again. Yeah. And having uh, grown up in my dad's shul, my dad was a rabbi and a great, great orator, mm -hmm. uh, I knew about a lot about the rabbinate, a lot about relationship between a rabbi and his congregation, and I was really loose. Uh, mm -hmm. So Sunday morning, they said, before you go home, we want to, I got a little committee to meet with you and we want to ask you to come back next week. I said, next week, maybe you'll have the fellow who's supposed to be here this week. We're asking you to come back next, next week. week. <laughs> well, I didn't like the idea, but all right, I'll spend another week there. The end of that week, uh, they met with me again on a Sunday morning and they said, we'd like you to stay in this position. Oh I said, but I, I don't, I'm not ordained, I'm not a rabbi. It's got to take me a lot, another six months probably before I will get my ordination. They said, that's our problem, not your problem. I said, I don't think the school likes me to do that. I know my dad is against that because he said, once you get placed, you'll stop studying, you'll never get your ordination. Uh, he, uh -huh. he painted a picture to me. Um, so they sent a committee in to talk to Dr. Belkin, who was the president of the university at the time, and they cut some kind of a deal with him. Is that Yeshiva University? Yeshiva University, and Dr. Belkin called me in, and he said, as a favor to us, you ought to go. I said, but you know, the policy of the school is not, <laughs> said, look, <laughs> listen to me. Tell me such go. a lot. Yeah, <laughs> go. So I went, they, were, they uh, offered me $50 a weekend. In 1948, I'm telling you, $50 a weekend was 
I, I don't You're know. making it like I, a bandit. I thought I was a millionaire. <laughs> you know, fifty dollars is, is a lot. That's and um, and I stayed until I got my smicha May the tenth. Uh, I guess because I was already placed, I was the first one in the class to come in to be ordained. That there was it's a two day interrogation. I call it. Uh, wow. Uh, it's it, it's n they don't use that system anymore of an oral exam. Yeah. After years and years of study, you get two days to find out if you're going to be a rabbi or not. Oh doesn't God. make sense. So today they have, every year, every few months, they have written examinations. So by the time you get to the oral, I mean, you really know that you're in. It's just that you have to pass an oral exam. However, here I am, <laughs> many years later, and I, I guess I made it. I'm just curious, what were the main areas that you were tested on? You know, I, also, I went oh. through the Israeli system. Oh, no, it was two areas. Uh, Rabbi Shatskis, Zachron of Racha, uh, was the first day. It was on a Tuesday, mm -hmm. and uh, he took me through Taruvos, Taruvos. Uh, okay. or, the halachas, yes. uh, to understand Bas Bechalav and Taruvos. That's m that, that's most. Uh, uh, they didn't they didn't bother too much on on Shkita, they, okay, they, didn't, okay. they didn't bother too much. Bas Bedam, Bas Bechalav and Taruvos. That was the main thing. And the truth is. Every Jew should be somewhat conversant in the laws of Basim yes, Chalavet too, yes. because it, it 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 impinges on our life every day. But but nowadays everything is pre-salted and all that. But uh, uh, they told me like this when I was going through the, that. Yes, yes, it's it's all uh, prepared for you. But these are the most complicated laws. If you could do this, you could do anything. That's what they they oh, said. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I never looked at it that way. But I uh, tell you, it is a, a most interesting of all the studies is uh, Bas Bechalav and Teruas, and, and I enjoyed it. And therefore, because I enjoyed it so much, I did very well. Yeah. And um, at the, he got up, at, uh, I, I guess this is two, three hours, I don't know how long it was. It felt like minutes, because we had a very good conversation, yeah. questions yeah. and answers. And he shook my hand and he says, you're a, you're a good you're candidate, you're gonna be a rat. And he was very, very happy, it made me happy. And then the next week, I went with Rabbi Salvechik, uh, on 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 Gemara. Tell us about Rabbi Salavitch. 